Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I have a project. I am going to change out these front grills right here. Right here. Taking those out. We're gonna put on these um, honeycomb shape grill. So we're gonna put those in there. So it should be pretty nice. It's gonna, so it's gonna look like this after I am finished. So I'm not sure you can kind of see that, but that's how we're gonna look and so that's and if you're wondering why i haven't had my grill i haven't showed on the video the last couple of days because i haven't had the grill onto the car but today i'm gonna add that on and um yeah let's just see how it goes okay all right so all right so right now what i was doing is cutting these here off to this one so then I could attach it on easier. So cutting it. So, that. It's just so when I cut it and then when we install, it will go in flat. So we don't have to worry about. See? So now it's flat. So when we install it, it will stay on there. And we're going to do it for all, those, all of those right there. Okay? Alright, so I got all of it done. But just make sure, this is a tip. When you do it, make sure you cut all of these here. But it's easier if you have a dermal. But I don't have one. So I use the scissors. Which kind of took a while to do. But yeah, just make sure those are kind of shaved down. Make sure you can see that. But make sure those are shaved down. Make it a lot simpler, okay? Alright, so I bought two of these. Turns out all I really need is one. So I have this right here, that, and I have these two. But I could use these bottom piece right here and it would fit. So right now I'm about to measure, cut here, and I guess I'm gonna leave that there. So then I can measure the line here, and then use these pieces for the two bottom right here. Okay. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see, but I marked these lines here. So I'm gonna cut them out just so it could look nicer. And then so we're gonna cut these as well. So then we could place the bottom here for these two here. All right, so, so far so good. We got these two ready. Now we just gotta cut this side and then I'll be able to glue them on and to the bumper and then put the bumper back on to the truck. So. All right, so I got all of these trimmed out. Everything's ready to go. So right now I'm about to glue them on. So what I have for glue, is the this gorilla glue here super glue because I used the uh, regular basic gorilla glue which wasn't super glue it took forever to dry up on another project I did so let's see how this one comes out all right so what happened was with the super glue it's not even working so right now I am on my way to Walmart to get a um, glue gun. I believe the glue gun should work with the um, hardening. So basically it'll, it would be hot, melt it down, and then once it in contact with the grill and the bumper, it should um, harden. So let's see what's up with that, okay? So I had the window replaced about two weeks ago and I forgot to put the rain or slash water repellent on the windshield. Um, so when I get back to the house, I'm gonna put a coating of it on. And so basically what it does, it helps the window, it will repel the water. And so right now, I guess with the camera, it's a lot clearer. But when we 
apply a coating of it on it will basically basically the the droplets of the rain it will just repel off of it so so i got these hopefully it would work the glue gun with the mini and maybe we should get one of these guys, bad boys here so <laughs> that would be cool but yeah you know so i'm about to head back to the house and uh hopefully it works better than the super glue all right so i just got home i just wanted to show you all what i was talking about this is the water repellent so once you rub it onto the glass you get a dry towel and you rub it off and it should last for a while because that's what i had it on the window before i got it replaced and so it's actually like i said it's actually a great product for if you go off-roading or even just regular water and it's like i noticed with the new window without this treatment it gets like real really like really really um how do you say it kind of foggy-ish and then it gets like real dirty with the water on there when it's raining and it's hard to see so all right so i'm gonna do this window repellent that i was telling y'all about this is supposed to go onto the windshield and then it also goes to all these other ones and it will help uh, repel the water when it rains or if mud or something it's supposed to be on there so you should see So you're supposed to apply it on here and then I think you're supposed to rub it in I think. Supposed to be the circle motion. Might as well just apply it to the whole window here. Alrighty, so I got one out of the five already, but it seems like, see, I don't know if you can see it, but I kind of over did the glue a little bit, but I think I might be able to get a knife and be able to chisel it away, but let's just see how well it'll work with the knife but hopefully it'll work all right so um it actually turned out looking really really nice so this is our 
honeycomb grill. But like I said, the only bad thing about Haga and Blue, it's my, it over kind of laps. So I have a knife and uh, I'm hoping it will work. But, but let's see, okay. Maybe I might need a um, what is that thing called a uh, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. This is not too bad. It's not too bad, kind of. Not sure you can see it, but. Kind of got in, into the paint a little bit, but it should be fine. Let me see if I could try it again. Um, that'd be okay. But I think if you heat it up, maybe reheat. Maybe with the nail. I guess what the nail does work, but make sure your fingers are clean. <laughs> so, all right, but I'll get back with y'all in a bit. Let me try all of these real quick. So, all righty, so I got it done. Let me now we're gonna put it onto the truck to see how it uh, looks here. So, that's what we're doing right now. We are headed to the truck and so it's gonna look something like that which is not too bad it's not bad at all okay well let me put it on and let's see all right so this is how the cayenne looks like right now um i didn't put the bottom piece here or these this light and the washer because i have a future pro a uh, project coming up soon again, so I didn't want to have to put it all back together just to take it back out So this is how she looks like with the New tires and also like I said, these are the Honeycomb grill, so hopefully you like it. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. Okay, but thank you for enjoying it the video and uh, Yeah, have a good day